<laughs> Hi, welcome to this emote tutorial. We're gonna make them with a free version of Photoshop that's online and it's pretty easy to make them. But first of all, I've got the perfect sponsor for this video because Ownto TV has an emote tool. Let me show you what it does. So we are on the owned website. The link is in the description and right here we see emotes and then emote maker. Right here you can click on create your own individual sub emotes. Then choose the character that you look like the most and after that you can start customizing it you can keep customizing this character till it looks like you want i'm gonna stop right here and then you can click on generate a mode and then you will get a bunch of variations keep in mind that these will be very small in your twitch chat so it will actually look like these were customly made for you then you can just select the emotes that you want and you can order them now they also have complete graphic packages there are a lot of options right here and when you click on one of them you can scroll down and you can test them out with this widget that they have right here the link to their website is in my video description and my code TVN gives you 50% off at all times. Okay, if you have any questions about something in this video or about streaming in general, I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday on Twitch. So you can join me there, ask a question, talk about streaming. The link to my Twitch will be in the description so you can give me a follow if you want. Now before editing our remote, we need to get a picture. I already made one. This is the one that I will use to edit. And we're gonna do it with a completely free program called Photopia. It's browser based, it's basically a free basic version of Photoshop. Let's start, go to file, then go to open and then search for your image. As you see right here, the first thing we'll do is make this an exact rectangle. This is not a rectangle. Anyway, go to the selection tool on the left, then hold shift on your keyboard and then just take the area that you want for the emote. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, we can still scale and reposition things afterwards, but this is just to get a basic working field. Okay, then go to image and then go to crop. Now some basic controls, if you have anything selected and you want to deselect it, just press ctrl D on your keyboard and now the selection is gone. If your cursor has another tool like the selection tool right now, let's press ctrl D and you want to get the normal cursor press v on your keyboard and that will get you your cursor zooming in is easy hold alt on your keyboard and then scroll in and out it goes to where your mouse is so that way you can easily go to certain areas and if you're zoomed in and you want to reposition a bit hold your space bar and then just drag like this be careful if you drag without holding your space bar and you zoom out you'll see that we have repositioned the image let's press ctrl z and that's enough for the basics Let's start with cutting out my face. <laughs> Imagine saying that to someone. Hey, let's cut out your face. We're gonna use a mask for this and it's pretty basic but extremely powerful. Make sure your image on the right is selected and then click on this icon right here to add a mask. Now right here you see we have our normal image and then a white mask. Now this mask is the exact size of our image so everything that's white on the mask will be visible in the image and everything that's black on the mask will be invisible on the image. So let me show you. Let's make sure that our mask is selected not the image on the left but the mask itself. On the left let's go to the the brush tool which is this one right here then on the bottom we have two colors the top one is the one that's currently active and the bottom one is the secondary so let's click on this icon right here to swap places you can also click on one of the colors and then choose another one but we need black so let's click on okay so right now we have the brush tool as you see on the left and we have the black color because the top one of the two is black right now we can right click and then change the size of our brush to something like this and right now i can show you how the mask work so let's make sure the mask is selected and then when i draw on the image as you see i'm drawing on the mask there's a black portion right now and that portion that's black will not be visible on the image if i would select the image itself and then draw i would draw black lines because i have the black brush and i'm drawing on the image but if i press ctrl z and i select the mask itself then every black portion will just not be shown on the image so let's press ctrl z till this is all gone and right now we can start painting so make sure that one of the two is black and that the other one is white by clicking on it and just selecting the color when you press x on your keyboard you swap them from places or you can click on this icon to swap them so when the black one is selected i can just paint away some stuff but let's say i paint away too much like this then i can press x on my keyboard to get the white brush right now and then you can just paint things back because 
because right now you're painting on the mask you're making things white again so that means that everything that's white right here everything that you're painting will be shown on the image right here so black paints things away and white makes it come back so you just start painting away with black you right click to make it smaller and you zoom in with alt plus scroll to paint away some stuff that's pretty small and then you just zoom out again and you make your brush bigger again to paint away stuff that you don't need and that's pretty big and that way you can do your whole image so i will show a time lapse right now of me removing everything that i don't need and after that i'm gonna show you a few things before we actually export it now also keep in mind that you have some margin for error right here because this will be an emote it will be extremely small when we actually export it and when people use it on twitch okay now that we've cut out everything you will probably want to replace it maybe scale it a bit reposition it so to do that we want to make sure that our image is selected and then we want to go to edit and then to free transform then you will see the borders of the image and right now you can move it you can drag the corners to skew it like this but of course then you will not keep your aspect ratio so that's not what we want but to scale it you can grab the corner and then hold shift on your keyboard and then you can scale it while keeping the aspect ratio now right now the image is screwed so let's press escape to go back to the previous image and you can also press ctrl alt t on your keyboard and that will also do the same thing so right now i'm gonna scale it a bit while holding shift to keep the aspect ratio and this is too big so let's make it something like this you want to make sure that you make it as big as possible within the rectangle because an emote is really small in twitch chat and if you only use half of the space with a small emote in the frame and then people use it as an emote in chat it will be kind of invisible so make sure that you almost touch the borders and now let me quickly show you a few things you can do for these emotes modes now an emote is really small so this probably won't matter that much but just know that this tool right here the spot healing brush is extremely powerful if you make sure that your image is selected on the right you can remove everything from the frame so you can remove pimples or stuff like this but you can also remove a complete eye for example now this will not be perfect but it will be something and you can keep playing with this till it's completely gone now something else you can use this for is for removing eyebrows it will try to remove it and as you see it's pretty good this looks really weird <laughs> okay so this is something you can use now let's go back a bit now if you want to get the background you can click on this icon right here then you can use gradient fill for a gradient or color fill for one color you can click on it choose a color click ok and then move it to the bottom of the list and then as you see you have a background like this you can do the same thing for a gradient and that's something a lot of people will want to know if you want to make a five head emote it's super easy let me quickly go to a new photopia page don't worry this doesn't take long by the way you can also just drag an image to photopia and then it will get imported so you just go to filter and then to liquify now let's zoom in a bit with holding alt and scrolling then make sure that the size of your brush is pretty big it should be something like this and then you take this tool right here on the left then you position the middle of the circle on your forehead and then you just hold the left mouse and it will go like this now the size should be a bit bigger as i see and now let's try it again okay so yeah you can play around with the size of the brush but this is how you do it you can also do it in the middle of your face to create something like this this can be fun for a bunch of emotes and now we're gonna export it so let's close this tab if you want to remove anything you can click on it and then press delete or you can drag it to the bottom to this bin right here and now let's export it you want to go to file and then to export as and then png now on the bottom here you can see the file size and you want to make sure that this is below 1 megabyte or 1000 kilobytes so if this is above 1000 you want to reduce the quality right here now we can leave it at 100 because it's only 450 kilobytes so now let's click on save and it will download the emote after that to actually upload it you want to go to your twitch then click on your profile icon, go to creator dashboard. Then on the left, you want to go to preferences and then to affiliate. Now under subscriptions, you will see emotes. And right here, we can upload our emotes. So on the bottom, you see upload emotes and then simple or advanced. If you take advanced, you will have to export the emote in three specific sizes. This is useful when you're actually designing your emote because then you can paint pixel by pixel. But I'm going to use simple right now. So let's click on this plus icon right here. Go to the downloads 
kilobytes and then right here pog 452 kilobytes that's less than 1000 so twitch will accept it and then twitch will make three different sizes of it now right here you can see the three different sizes and you can also choose how people should use this emote so i'm gonna call it pog so then people will have to use my prefix and then Pog. Now before clicking on save changes and submitting this emote, make sure you check the Twitch emote guidelines. And right here you see everything that you can't use in an emote. Now you want to be careful with this because if you submit an emote that's against the rules and you do it a few times, you can get a suspension, things like that. So make sure that you check if your emote respects the Twitch policy. And then after that, if you're sure about your emote, you can click on save changes. And as you see, your emote is under review. Now this emote was for my actual Twitch channel and i would appreciate it if you would come by give me a follow be on the stream if you have any questions about streaming or you just want to talk about streaming or you want to chill a bit the link to my twitch is in the description the streams are on monday wednesday and friday thanks a lot for watching this video if you like it and you comment something that boosts me a lot in the youtube algorithm so i would really appreciate that place a random comment just say hi a bunch of my subs literally comment random comment nowadays i love it if you want to subscribe to this channel channel for more content like this go ahead thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in the next one have a nice day the video nerd made the best audio banana video ever but i still couldn't manage to get it all working <laughs> well was it the best one ever then but thanks man